to the Hickory Christmas Show this weekend at the Hickory Metro Convention Center. Tickets available at the door or online at hickorychristmasshow.com. Good evening and welcome in as we kick off another week and another month here on the WHKY News. I'm Ralph Mangum and today is Monday, December 2. The WHKY News is on over the air TV each weekday on channel 14.2 and we are online at WHKY.com and on our YouTube channel. In today's top stories, WHKY's Ariana Mack had the chance to chat with Nate Custer from FEMA with the latest storm recovery update. Here with us eight weeks since the devastating Hurricane Helene struck western North Carolina, Nate Custer with updates and a reminder on what FEMA can provide. We can provide help with emergency home repairs and with temporary housing. We have had over 4,900 households who have been lodged in hotels or motels at FEMA expense. We're continuing to work on what we call transportable housing units. Those will be either travel trailers or manufactured homes. We've begun to approve some people to have uh, lodging in those facilities. It, it's a slow process because you have to have a site for it. It can be a privately owned site or it may be uh, something that's owned by a local government, but it has to comply with some of the local regulations we don't want it certainly to be in a floodway when we're going to put in uh, a transportable uh, manufactured housing unit, be that a, uh, a mobile home or a travel trailer. On the emergency home repairs, uh, when people register, and they can do that now until January 7th, they're going to get a call from a FEMA inspector. He or she will make an appointment and come out and look at that property and decide whether it's something that can be repaired at a relatively limited expense. We cannot uh, really make people totally whole again, but we can get them on the road to recovery and maybe get them uh, back into the home if it is in a state that can be repaired. We want people to keep in touch with FEMA. If you've registered and you haven't heard anything back for a while, call the helpline 800-621-3362 or go online at disasterassistance.gov, disasterassistance.gov, provide your registration number and the, the folks on the other end of the line can look up your application, see how things are moving along. Maybe there's some missing documents. Uh, maybe there's something that FEMA conceivably has overlooked that you want to bring to our attention. You can do that by keeping in touch. People tend to move around somewhat. Uh, some of the people are in uh, hotels or motels at FEMA expense. Some may be staying with uh, family or friends. And uh, the phone numbers uh, at which they can be reached could be changing. So keep in touch uh, and provide the latest and the working uh, means of contact with you. Stay tuned to WHKY.com for continued updates and ways to help. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana. The Division of Employment Security continues to support people in 39 counties and the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians of North Carolina who have been impacted by Tropical Storm Helene through disaster-related unemployment assistance. WHKY's Rob Eastwood has details on the local impact. If you live in one of the Hickory Metro counties, you may be eligible for assistance. As of the time I'm filing this report, just under $31 million has been paid for Helene-related disaster unemployment claims. You may be eligible for unemployment insurance benefits under the DUA program if you became unemployed as a direct result of the effects of Hurricane Helene impacting North Carolina. This also includes business owners and self-employed individuals who may qualify for benefits. Eligibility for DUA is determined weekly. If you have filed a disaster-related unemployment claim, you must complete a certification for each week that you are unemployed as a direct result of Helene. You must continue to be out of work as a direct result of the disaster each week to get unemployment benefits. Any wages earned during the week must be reported each week on your certification. Claims are filed through the DES website at des.nc.gov. Call the DUA hotline at 919-629-3857 if you do not have internet access or are having issues with the system. 
Disaster unemployment assistance benefits are available for residents of counties including Catawba, Alexander, Burke, Caldwell, Lincoln and Iredell. You can get more information on this and find a link to get more details in this story at our website, whky.com. Reporting from Hickory for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Thanks, Rob. Starting at 9 p.m. this Wednesday, City of Hickory Cruise will close the two southbound lanes of NC-127, that's North Center Street, near 4115 North Center Street to install a sewer tap. During the closure, traffic will shift to the center lane to allow crews to safely complete their work. Motorists are encouraged to slow down and exercise caution when traveling through the work zone. The lane should reopen by 6 a.m. the following morning. On November 27, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper announced appointments to a number of state boards and commissions. Among those appointed to the North Carolina Interagency Council for Coordinating Homeless Programs was Ashley Nicole Jarrett of Morganton. She will serve on the council as a member from local government. Ms. Jarrett works in Burke County's Public Health Department as the Assistant Health Director. According to a statement released by the governor's office, she has ample experience with outreach and intervention programs for people experiencing homelessness. Congratulations to Ashley Jarrett. In today's crime report, Ariana has the details on Operation Bring the Chill in Burke County, and I have a fugitive from Alabama arrested by the State Highway Patrol. In local sports, it was another good weekend for Hickory High football, but not so much for Lenore Iron or App State. Jason also has basketball from LR and App, plus some App State volleyball. In Community Focus, Rob has details on the J. Iverson Riddle Christmas Parade. Sunny and cold today with a high not even reaching 45 degrees. More of the same tomorrow and then in the upper 40s Wednesday and Thursday before dropping back into the low 40s Friday. We should be back in the 50s for the weekend with no significant chance of rain at any point this week. The latest forecast can always be found at whky.com. I'm Ralph Mangum. You're watching the WHKY News.